Well, it's uh, 6.30 in the morning. Just finished having a fantastic Sunday. People have the day off today, so I ended up being uh, quite the evening at La Bear Dallas. We're at the airport looking for the kiosk so I can go ahead and get my ticket to go aboard. I'm gonna be flying out to California, Riverside area, go visit my old man for the weekend. So, bringing you guys along for the trip just to kind of let you a little insider info, you know. All right, let's uh, grab our ticket and stuff, and we will see you on the other side. Well, just finished getting through security. They had a really cool conveyor belt, automated conveyor belt system that I think definitely makes things a lot more efficient. Though, for some reason, the bag got caught up and had to wait for uh, additional screening, if you will. Uh, didn't really turn up anything. I don't even know what they pulled out, to be honest with you. They just swabbed and called it a day. But we're on our way to our gate. We're a little early, which is perfectly all right, because I can totally take a power nap right now. And then Jeebus knows I'm going to sleep on the plane uh, for about roughly a three-hour flight. And yeah, then I get to hang out with my old man for a couple days. So I will talk to you guys here in a little bit. I might grab a bite to eat or something, since I haven't slept yet. airport it is absolutely gorgeous beautiful day outside and like half the airport is outside which is pretty neat probably sucks in the rain but I don't think it really rains I hear all that often so gotta figure out where to get to ground level terminal outside not like outside outside but like outside the airport and find my dad so yeah we'll see see you later Shoot, you guys gotta see this. Like, look at this. Hold on, because I'm on the escalator. So, let's get off this real quick. And then we'll do a quick panoramic view of everything. Hey, check this out. Hi, uh -huh. okay. See that? That's just in the airport. So, pretty freaking awesome. Miami airport's not even that nice. But, like I said, it does uh, kind of rain a lot more in Miami. So, alright. Back to finding my dad. Just finished eating lunch with my dad, hanging out, haven't seen him in too long. Yeah. But gonna grab some meat to cook tonight for dinner. You got that right. And then just uh, gonna spend the rest of the day relaxing, catching up and hanging out. Beautiful. Just got to the house, staying in the guest room. All nice and very uh, house on the prairie cottage like. Gonna get to change all these clothes, get a little comfortable and then uh, Find out what we're gonna do next for the day. Probably gonna chill for a little bit. Then we gotta go pick up uh, the kid. And yeah, I know we're barbecuing tonight and enjoying some family time. I don't know what other festivities we're gonna do. Stay tuned. So I slept until about 10.30 today, which means back in Dallas it's 12.30. So I super slept in. But um, gonna get up, have a little bit of breakfast and then see what we're gonna do today. I'm hoping I can meet up with an old buddy of mine from contracting, his tattoo shop is actually the next city over from where my dad lives. So hopefully I can meet him up for a cup of joe or something like that. He's the guy that did my sleeve. Uh, we did it overseas in Iraq, which is kinda cool. Showered, fed, 
Starting the day off, it's absolutely a beautiful day here on day two. My dad watched the reality show for the first time last night. He had some pretty good feedback and critiques and stuff. So we're gonna go uh, say hi to everyone, Bubba. It was awesome. I really liked it. So we're uh, gonna go pick up the kid and possibly do some high-speed go-karting, a little bit of hiking, a little bit of movie watching. I'll keep you posted on dinner and whatnot. And uh, might even record a podcast tonight with the old man to see how uh, he feels about my lustrous and lovely career. All luxurious? Right. Yeah, luxurious. Let's go with that. Too many L's. Just finished doing K1 go kart racing. Accelerating these things go like 45 50 miles an hour and go-kart that's moving you race against your time So it was a lot of fun saw a movie now. I think we're gonna do some hat shopping or something like that Oh, it's uh, Wednesday morning four o'clock in the morning here And I'm getting up because flying standby you catch the first flight out you can So yeah, it's a bit of a <sighs> Pretty fun trip, a little chill, but I'm okay with that. I just came out to see family and that's what I did. Woke up super early, got my dad up, came yeah, to the airport, only to find out that my flight is delayed three hours. So yeah, I spent quite a bit of time at the airport, which I've done before. But I was really hoping to get some stuff done today since it's Wednesday, my Monday. Wanted to get to Dallas early and, uh, like I said, just get some work done before I have to go to work. But such is life. So, play on the internet, do some editing, and uh, maybe I'll get this video out to you guys sooner than I thought. Well, security was a piece of cake. Got through that, no problem. Kind of like Dallas love size security and whatnot. So now it's off to the gate and we just kind of get to hang out. If we get a little lucky, maybe they bump up the uh, flight time to get out of here sooner. Still gotta get my workout and stuff done today. So, uh, yeah. I was hoping to record a podcast with my dad, but we just didn't get enough time uh, when we found out I had to leave so early. And that's all right, it's no big deal. I got a couple other ideas for podcasts and stuff like that. And so I will get up to date on that one. And this week we also start recording the second to last episode of the Crowd Pleaser Contest. So I'm hoping everyone really gets a kick out of that one. The show's been really fun to do. Gotten a lot of good feedback, gotten a lot of bad feedback, gotten a lot of creative criticism. So yeah. Made it back to Dallas finally. Long trip, but well worth it. Yay! But, so I have to share this with y'all. I park at the remote parking, right? As you can tell, see? I'm all the way in the middle of nowhere. Yes, no airport in sight. And when I was coming to the airport, I took the bus, the shuttle into the airport. And there was a other gentleman with a beard and a large metal case, right? And then in the back of the bus, there was a female employee of DFW with uh, a sweater over her shoulders, but not wearing it. So, right, no big deal, nothing to worry about. I'm coming back on this bus, right? This is uh, two days later, completely different time frame. And then, <laughs> I get in the bus, there's a female Fort Worth employee sitting in the back with a uh, um, sweater over her shoulders but not wearing it. Almost same paperwork too. I want to say it's the same lady. Then an elderly dude gets in the bus with a metal case and with a beard. So now I'm starting to think maybe I'm not in Dallas. Maybe I'm in the twilight zone. Do -do 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 